we're not live or we are? We're live now. Okay, we're live now. Did you guys hear me talking a bunch or not? Um, yeah, I guess we are here. Okay. Uh, I was talking, I talked for like five minutes and we weren't live. It was amazing. I explained everything that happened. I responded to the chat. Everything that uh, was supposed to happen, I, I did. But you guys weren't, I, we just weren't broadcasting. Okay, so next time we're going to try to exploit um, a bug, but could also be a feature in which I hijack the dead stream onto my notebook until the other computer restarts. So that's what we're going to try to do. Um, just recapping, if you got here or if you accidentally clicked on the part two video instead of the part one, well, this is kind of a new start. This is the Schneider Cinelux that I got stuck a few weeks ago and I got to the stuck screw. It's pretty stripped, added some lighter fluid, some acetone, some WD-40, let it act up. And now I'm hoping that the drill extracting, uh, screw extracting people are going to rejoin us. Um, <laughs> computer replacement fund, uh, honestly, Whatever fun you guys want to create, I'm down for it. Everything helps. Uh, I don't know if it was a computer issue. It was more of like a bad luck issue. You know, if this is the only problem we have to deal with today, absolute win. So I'm going to drain this WD-40 from the side here. Just tucking it in here. All right, Evan Burns uh, is asking if I found a, a solution for screw replacements. Um, I think Justin or Justin Bacol, I don't know how to say his last name in French, uh, talked about, oh man, MC Master something where you can order all sorts of sizes and specs of screws. I just realized I have a bunch from my contacts lenses that I replace the mounts. So I'm going to find out the threads on those. And when I need to tap new threads onto something, I'll just use those. Um, but I don't know. Amazon has a bunch of M1 and M2, M2.5 screws that you can get for cheap, like 900 pieces. So I guess you could fix a thousand lenses with that. Um, I'm going to give this one last shot not very hopeful in the sense that this just spins. Yeah, it just goes nowhere. I'm gonna try one size bigger. Actually, I'm not gonna try one size bigger. I'm just gonna drill the extraction. Let's just do it. What is the best place for visibility? Uh, probably with the screw, you're gonna drill out like just as close to the camera as possible. Because it gets the shadow. I don't know if this is visible. Yeah. I guess how you had it before is probably better. Than this? Yeah, like that. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, I'm going to be drilling right next to the glass, which I don't absolutely love. Um, the tutorials say pick a drill bit that is uh, just a little smaller than the head of the screw. So this thing gives me 10 out of these 10, I think, one of them. This is the tiniest. And I think it's going to be the best fit. Um, Charles is asking why I'm trying to open the scope. At this point, it's a matter of honor. But at first, it was because I wanted to flock the inside of it, just add some non reflective material and get rid of veiling flare. So that's why I'm trying. Uh, now I'm just determined that I will learn how to remove a stuck screw because that's what we set out to do. And I have 12 minutes to do so. So let's go. Let's hit it. The most high risk way possible. Oh yeah. On a timer. <laughs> okay. So this is the drill and I'm supposed to do it clockwise. And then the extractor is counterclockwise. Um, Masking tape on the glass before drilling. I don't love this tape that I have, but I did have tape right here in case it came to it. Um, yeah. Let's do it. 
just gonna put it across here. I don't want to tape the glass itself, but this should provide cover. Yeah, okay, I taped the glass a little bit. Um, okay, da -da -da. the extractor isn't labeled. Okay, the extractor is labeled. I know the drill and the extractor. Uh, I'm just concerned about the direction both things rotate. Okay, so let's make this visible. I keep rotating it to a different position. Um, it's good right now. It's good right now. Okay, I'm going to get up so I can... Oh, the other thing is we're supposed to rotate this very slowly. So, so yeah. Wouldn't it be the opposite, though? Because normally it's going clockwise when you're drilling in, but these are reversed, aren't they? The reverse to take out. I don't know if to... to, to cut into it is the reverse. That is the part that I could not figure out from all of the tutorials that I read. Like I read 20 tutorials in the last week and I could not figure it out. You know what? I can just drill a hole into something. Uh, what's going to be sacrificed to the cause? Mm, there's got to be something in here. Okay, guys, I'm going to drill a hole into something. There's some other random piece of equipment is going to get a hole into it. I think this is a good idea. You think this is a good idea, I right? I think it's a good idea to, to not to test it on something else. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... I don't have any screws that I can add and just drill out. I wish I had something. Oh, man. this? Uh, I can. Mm. Charles says if it's, unless it's a special bit, it would always be the right. Okay, yeah, we don't know if it is, a, like, the extractor is definitely a special bit. The, the drill for the extractor is what we don't know. Uh, so what I'm gonna try, and I would definitely need a clamp for this, is I'm gonna drill, mm, it's too small. I mean, there's not enough head on this screw. <sighs> you know what? That's the classic. Let's just do it and deal with the consequences later. YOLO? Um, YOLO, yeah. If it fails, we'll learn how to tap threads. I'm not religious, but... This feels appropriate. Okay. I don't know if anything happened. I have no idea if anything happened. Um, I don't see any little flecks of metal. There's very, very small amounts. I'm gonna try and reverse. The top of the screw might pop off. I'm not going that far, I think. Let's try, I'm gonna try the extractor. You know what? Other side. Okay, so we're doing the extractor. I love how this extractor already came rusted. But the thing is brand new, but it's already rusty. It's a new concept. Okay. Okay, I'm holding it with my bottom hand. Okay, this definitely did not grip anything, so... Yeah, I think you're gonna go deeper to make the threads. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna continue. I am... I don't think I'm applying enough force that I can injure myself with this. Okay. 
I think it's all in reverse. Let's give this a shot. Yeah, Blake, do you wanna <laughs> try and hold this, the the scope itself, just the lens? Let's see. A lot of hands on this. All hands. Definitely popped something. Okay. okay. I think the bit is supposed to be in reverse. We cut something here now, this time. Everything is in reverse, guys. That's the secret. Nobody's gonna tell you. Uh, if you could hear my heart right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you wanna try this again? Just yeah. hold on to it. Here we go. Five minutes to midnight. Nothing. I think I have to drill more. All right. <laughs> I think I need like an Apple Watch or something to do that. It would definitely be a cool feature, especially for this tense stuff that we're doing. Okay. All right. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's pretty messed up now. It's definitely cut into. Like, we definitely cut pieces of this out. So, hopefully, something's gonna come out of it. Schneider doesn't watch this, right? Hmm? Schneider doesn't watch this. Schneider doesn't show. watch the show. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last one. If this extractor bit is not gripping anything, I'm gonna put a flashlight into this because I can't see anything in here. It just looks like a straight up hole with nothing in it. It's like flesh on all sides. I don't know if this is going well. I really don't know if this is going well. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Evan. This is very encouraging. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to... I'm now confused about the direction that this thing is supposed to turn. Honestly. I'm gonna try this again. haven't breathed. 
I'm going to return this stuff for Amazon. <laughs> I'm using the smallest drill bit. So, uh, it's just, it's about the same size as the threads. Um, in the case, this extractor is too big for the screw. Um, what are our ideas? Uh, the only one that I can think of is kind of like try to cut a line through it with a tiny something. Um, uh, okay. I don't have a lot of faith on anything that's going on right now. Uh, let's go with one that has many sides. So I can try and see. So that's a Torx 7. Maybe 6. <laughs> 6 is definitely too small. And 7 is too big. Huh, just like what we had before. Uh, what else do I have here? 1.5? 1 1.5 5 gave me an interesting hold. Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha We won! <laughs> okay, so we might have done everything wrong, but we won in the end. We won. And it's 12.01. <laughs> Well, I'm going to need the rest of the day to cool down and relax after this wonderful... Well, so here's the thing. If I learn anything from this is you can use the extractor bit in reverse. My bad, not the extractor bit, the drill bit in reverse to cut into it and then use... What the hell is this? An Allen key 1.5. You just push into it. I can't believe this worked. But also, I set out to do it, so I don't know why I don't believe it worked. <laughs> uh, this was one of the most challenging things I've ever done on this channel. This like is way tougher than aligning a scope, from my perspective at least. So I really appreciate that you guys are there and that we managed to pull through this. Uh, if you're still here, hit the like button so this part two also gets some attention. I'm going to try and figure out how to stick both of them together. Uh, definitely need more practice, although I got to do some like trial runs on like things that are not as meaningful as this one. Uh, Charles is asking if I'm going to do an episode on flocking it 100%, just not today because... Today's battle is won, and we got to we gotta celebrate our victories as they come. So uh, we did it. I said I was going to drill the screw. I drilled the screw. I got two stuck screws out, different methods, both won, both victories. I have 17 more calls today, so uh, I can't hang out very much. I think we're going to be wrapping this up. Thank you so much for joining. Um, all of the advice was very enlightening, very inspiring, and very motivating. Please keep coming. Um, if you enjoyed this and you're not a member of the channel, 
please join. If you're a member of the channel, you rock. And this is it for today, I guess. Blake, any last minute notes? Nope. I guess this is it. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next week. Woo! <laughs>